Are you having issues with high estrogen? Well, let's get you back into a normal range. What's up guys, TRT Veteran here. Remember, I am not a doctor, so all that I'm gonna talk about is things that I've found out through my own research and my own trial and error. And don't forget, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In the last video, we discussed ways to lower estrogen naturally. So today, we are gonna be discussing AIs, or aromatase inhibitors. Anestrozole, brand name Arimidex, was developed to help reduce estrogen in women with breast cancer. It then began to be used in men on testosterone replacement therapy to help lower their estrogen. If men have high estrogen, it can cause things like water weight, swelling, moodiness, emotional issues like weepiness, or gynecomastia, which is the growing of breast tissue. The use of anestrozole in men, it blocks the conversion of androgens to estrogens. Anestrozole is highly powerful, highly potent, and highly controversial. And in the first 24 hours after taking an estrozole, it will begin to lower your estrogen by about 70%. Side effects are dose dependent. However, they can also be based on each individual person man to man. So one of the major side effects you run into is an estrozole can lower your HDL or your good cholesterol. So you need to make sure that you are having your labs done while you are taking an AI. Some men taking an AI can have hot flashes, trouble sleeping, depression, erectile dysfunction, and low libido. Women with low estrogen can also develop osteoporosis. So what's gonna happen to men's bones while taking in an AI if their estrogen is too low? I don't really know, but I assume it is nothing good. And there haven't really been any studies on that. Too much anestrozole can cause severe achy joints and joint pain. So make sure that your prescriber isn't just handing it out. Anestrozole should be used as a last resort to help lower that estrogen. Some clinics hand out anestrozole like it's candy. But do not fall for that cookie cutter approach when it comes to them handing that out. There is a place in which you could use this medication. However, again, make sure it's a last resort. Some guys out there will tell you that AIs are the absolute most evil thing you could ever possibly do, even if your estrogen is over the 100 mark. That being said, there are some steps you can take prior to even possibly needing that, that AI. First, you can split your dose. Start microdosing your testosterone. Split it into five or even seven injections a week. This will help convert less testosterone to estrogen. Some out there will tell you to just reduce your, your testosterone, reduce your dose you're taking. However, that's not always an option either. For somebody like me who absorbs testosterone poorly and has to take 250 milligrams a week just to get into the 700s, it's not an option to reduce my testosterone. So after you split your dose into five or seven times a week and you're still seeing a rise in your estrogen, you can always treat it naturally with calcium deglucurate or grapeseed extract. I discussed those in my last video, so I'm not going to hit on those much here. So how about my experience with AIs or anestrozole? I started with an endocrinologist who refused to test my E2. Even though we asked for it several times, they still refused to run the test. After I switched to the hormone clinic that I am currently with, several months into my TRT treatment, I decided to go ahead and take an AI because my estrogen continued to rise. I was taking half a milligram or 0.5 milligrams twice a week. After just two doses, I had already started seeing some joint pain. However, I continued to take a couple more doses 
and that's when the pain in my knees and my hands was already unbearable. My provider told me to stop the AI immediately until we could get my next labs done. And some people would be fine on that dose. Some people even take a higher dose of that weekly and they don't have the same symptoms. Like I said earlier, it is dose dependent and person to person. At that time, I began the natural route. I began taking those supplements to naturally lower my estrogen. However, I never really got it down. I still was at the high end of normal and then even creeping slightly above normal. My joints began to bother me again and I knew it wasn't from my low estrogen because again, I was already creeping above high normal. I've had joint pain since my time in the Marines. So at this time, I decided to ask my doctor about using DECA. Now for those of you who don't know what DECA is, I'll go into that in a later video. However, for this video, basically it helps your joints feel more cushy so you don't get all that pain. A major side effect of DECA is raising your estrogen. After a couple of months of being on DECA and doing my labs, we noticed that my estrogen was even higher now. It actually hit 85. Due to my joint pain, my doc went ahead and prescribed me a higher dose of DECA and with that we kind of assume that my estrogen is going to raise it with it. To counteract the raise in estrogen that we assume is going to continue to raise on this higher dose of DECA and the, uh, the natural supplements aren't cutting it anymore, we still had some AI left over from the last time it was prescribed. So I went ahead and talked to the doctor about taking it in a lower dose to help counteract that estrogen increase. The doctor went ahead and prescribed me those 0.5 milligram capsules, but instead of twice a week, now I'm only doing one every two weeks, which is a quarter of the dose. At this point, I have only taken three doses of the AI since I've been back on it. And I can honestly say that I am not having the severe joint pain like I was that first time on it. In fact, the DECA seems to be helping with my joint pain. I anticipate that my labs are hopefully going to reflect that my estrogen has either stopped rising or even reduced. If it hasn't lowered, then the doctor is going to go ahead and take a different approach or possibly even prescribe me a little bit more of the AI. My advice is to try every other option that you can. To hit those again, split your dose five to seven times a week. Start taking those natural supplements like calcium deglucrate and grapeseed extract. If you decide or it's the last option to take that anestrozole, start out at a low dose. Low and slow. That's the best way to go. Now, as always, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Feel free to share this with your family and friends. Comment down below and check out my Instagram and Facebook, TRT Veteran.